Are you struggling with your click-through rates? Or are you looking to create high-definition thumbnails without buying expensive software? Then you have come to the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you how to create high-definition thumbnails using a free app. Thumbnails are the most important element of your YouTube video. Just like how you right swipe only when you find the pictures good and attractive, your thumbnail also needs to stand out in getting attention from your viewers, which does increase your views. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, you need to take a picture. Now you can take a picture of an object or the product that you're demonstrating in your video, or you can just take your own picture. Just make sure to express yourself in the photo. You know what I mean. Next is download this Adobe Express from Play Store or App Store. You can download it on your phone or iPad, or you can even use their web app for desktops. Now this is a free to use app. You can also buy this app which will unlock all the paid features. However, they offer a lot of free templates. So if you're a newbie, I would recommend don't go for the paid version. You have two options. You can either select the free to use thumbnail and edit it as per your requirement, or you can create it from scratch. I like to create it from scratch. So I'm going to select the Adobe stock photo for the background. You can also just select a blank canvas and add design assets or background color and build from there. But I like to do it this way. So you can select any Adobe stock photo from the huge collection of free photos. You don't have to pay for it. If you see that crown shape icon on the bottom right of some of the images, those are actually the paid ones. If you like something, then you can also buy the paid subscription, which is $100 a year, and it is worth it. They also have monthly subscription available. Now, after you have selected your photo, you will have to select the frame. You have different frames available for your Instagram or TikTok as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'll select YouTube thumbnail for the canvas. You can resize the image, position it well, and once it's done, then click on done. Then you will get an option to edit the text. All you have to do is edit the text, write whatever you want, and that's it. Now I'm not putting too much thought right now because this is not the actual thumbnail I'll be using for one of my videos. So for this video, I'm just showing it for demos. So I'm just going to select a random background photo and add a random text. You can do whatever you want to. The best feature about this app is this style option. All you have to do is move that black ball around and get different stylings for your text. Based on different colors it has in the background, it takes all that into consideration and give you different styles and different color combinations. So you can do it this way or you can customize your text. You can change the font, you can select the color or create a custom color. You can edit the way you want to. You have all these options. I usually like the styling because it is the quicker option and it always ends up giving you the best style possible. They also offer these layouts. So you can select one of these layouts for your thumbnails. If you have watched my video, I have used this layout feature two or three times. I have used it in my HelloFresh video as well as in my ring light thumbnail. For this video, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm not gonna use any layout. I can use different filters for the background image, but the best thing is the blur option. And you must have seen this on most YouTube thumbnails. People like to blur the background. They will either take their stock photo or they will take a picture of whatever and put it in the background, blur it out, put their face on the side, add text, and that's it. They are done. That's how easy it is if you have the right app. And that's what we are doing today. You decide how much blur you want. I usually keep it at 40%, but it depends on the background image and how I want it to look. Now, the next is just put your face on it. I'm just gonna use this image with over the top reaction. Now go to edit and remove the background. This will give you the cutout of the image and then just reposition it. This is what 90% of the YouTubers do. You can further edit the photo by changing the filter or changing the brightness or contrast. I'm just playing here with colors. You should always play with different colors to make sure your text stands out. Now just save it to your gallery or export it as an image. That's it guys, that's how you do it. If you are doing it from scratch, but let me quickly show you how you can use one of their pre-built templates from Adobe Template Library. Select the YouTube thumbnail frame and then it will show you all templates as per YouTube thumbnail size. If you're not sure what exactly you're looking for, just browse through your template library and select one of the template and then click on Remix this template. 
You can edit the text or remove it and add your own. It will also delete the design asset from the background if any. I'm just going to add text. This is just a quick way to do it. So let me know if you like this video and if you're going to use this app. If you're already using another app, let me know. I would love to explore a new app for my thumbnails. That's all for today's video. Adios. If you like it so far, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.